Hi guys, I thought I'd do a video on the crown. A lot of you have been asking me about this. Um, the crown, for those that don't know, is the bit at the back of your head, which I used to call my bald spot, because that's where it was started balding first. For those that don't know, the crown is one area which takes probably the longest to grow after a hair transplant. It can take sort of between 12 and 18 months for the hair to sort of appear there. And unless you ask them otherwise, normally, especially in Turkey, I don't know about the UK because I've not had a transplant in the UK, but most of the Turkish clinics I know start at the front, so they do your insert the grafts at the front to give you a nice hairline, then they go back. So basically whatever's left over they put into the crown area, which is there. So a lot of guys, one thing they don't tell you is that you might need a second transplant to fill the crown up if you've got enough donor hair left over. Another question I get asked a lot is, does the donor hair regrow? No, because when they take the grafts out, that's it, they've gone. They're putting them in the back of your head or at the, the hairline at the front. So when they've taken them out, no, they don't regrow. Um, they're very, very skilled. What they do is they take them they don't take them all next to each other, they sort of spread them out when they remove them so that when the hair grows back you can't tell they've removed them if they've done it skillfully enough. Um, some guys get over harvesting where they've taken too many and you get slight bald spots or it may just be shot cloths which will hopefully regrow again. Um, but no, I'm really happy with mine, they did a really good job. They didn't sort of make any bald spots. Um, I was luckily didn't get any shedding or shot cloths so you can hardly tell from the donor area that it's been done at all. One thing I'll do is I'll try and show you the crown because a lot of people say oh you use fibres. Yeah you can use hair fibres to make things your hair look sort of thicker. At the moment I've got no fibres in at all. I washed my hair this morning that's why it's kind of fuzzy. My hair goes really really fuzzy. But yeah, I've put no styling products, nothing in it at all at the moment. I'm sat in front of quite a bright window, so hopefully you can see it. Um, it's kind of really hard to... I'm going to try and make it look as worse as possible. Because what you can do is, a lot of people, you can comb the hair over so it, from the back, so it just covers it over. But mine's been going pretty well, the, the crown. But I'm going to kind of just comb it as far apart as possible so instead of combing it up towards the center of the crown I'm kind of combing it down and trying to make it so that you can see how my crown's going. I'm at five and a half months now so let's have a look. I'm not sure if you can see it that's sort of how mine's doing at the moment. So it's not doing too badly mine. Mine, the front basically grew a lot quicker around there and the back, the crown area has taken longer. But I've used minoxidil on the crown area to try and help speed it up a little. And it, it seems to be working now. It does seem to, I can feel little spiky hairs still where they, they're growing through slightly. And they did use some beard hair at the back. Those of you that don't know, if I was, if I could go back in time and I started realizing that I was getting a bald spot at the back, first of all, it's a real tiny spot, and it just sort of the bald spot just got balder and balder basically. So, if I could go back in time, I'd start using minoxidil straight away because that helps grow hair. Um, there's also finasteride which is a drug which I don't take because I give blood regularly um, and they don't allow it um, you to take that if you give blood. But yeah, minoxidil, you can either get the solution like this, which is quite oily, you put it on twice a day, put that on there, I, I did put some on earlier but because my hair is kind of really fuzzy and dry at the moment it did soak in quite well. Or you can get like, this one's called Regain, I think in the USA it's called Rogaine, 
um, which is the same thing, minoxidil, 5% solution, it regrows hair and you, you sort of, you take a, a lid's worth, squirt it in, put it on and just rub it in. One thing I have said before is they are quite oily, even the uh, foam, which is supposed to be sort of absorbed better than the solution, is still quite oily on the rest of your hair, so it makes the rest of your hair look a little bit oily. Um, and they do stain, be very careful. If you're wearing a, like a white t-shirt, I was wearing it um, when I was on holiday and I used, I actually used the foam for once and I put it on my head and it just fell down onto the t-shirt, it did stain it. Um, so I actually chucked the t-shirt. But yeah, so the crown is the area that takes the longest to grow. But I am pretty happy with mine because it does seem like it's actually growing. Now I don't know if this is just from where they used the hair transplants and they also used some for my beard down there. They use it from underneath the chin. I think they took about 500 grafts from there. And yeah, they feel a little bit wiry. That's another question I had about beard hair. It does feel a bit wiry. You can still fill them in, but they mix it with all your regular grafts, which they take from the back and the sides towards the top. They don't take it from right at the front or down over there. Um, so yeah, they mix it in. So you, yeah, you can feel a few wiry hairs, but it doesn't bother me as long as it looks like it's covered. Because to me, that was the main area I wanted covered was the crown. But yes, a lot of guys have to have the front done and then if they have got enough grafts left, they'll go back and have the second done a year later. Or there are a few mega clinics, I think, that where they do mega sessions, where you go on one day, have a load done, front probably, and then the rest the following day. To me, that would be a bit sort of painful having two sessions in one weekend or one two day session sort of thing. Um, I personally would see how it goes to begin and then decide after a year if you want a second one or if you need a second one even. Just trying to see again. But yeah, I'm trying to sort of make it look as bad as I can so you can sort of see how it's going and it's not to give you a sort of don't want it to look false like I'm combing it over but it's really hard to see on the small camera screen. But yeah that's basically my crown so you can see it's lighter around there but it is coming along it's five and a half months now and I'm really really happy with it I'm happy with the front as well it's just it's getting a bit bushy now because like I've said before I've not cut the top um, in six months I had my op I think it was December the 17th or 18th I've not cut the top since then I have cut the sides and back but even they're getting a bit long now they could probably do a bit of a shave people still say about the shampoos that's the, I think it's 95p one you can get at home bargains, caffeine shampoo. That seems to dry my hair. Most shampoos dry my hair out quite a lot. This one I got in a um, pack at Christmas, like a gift pack, which had shower gel and uh, shampoo. I've been using this one. This one's quite nice, actually. It's Dove Men's Plus Care. Shampoo and conditioner. I actually hadn't seen, but it does contain caffeine and menthol, and it does feel kind of cool on your hair when you use it, it's quite quite nice. That's what I use today, but it does, most shampoo really dries my hair out. Yeah, one thing, when I was in Turkey, I was chatting to a guy, and he said to use uh, castor oil. So this is the castor oil I bought. What you do, some clinics don't like using this um, or any oils for the first six months. So it's obviously up to you. I've used it once or twice. What you do, it's really, really thick. So you put it on, you only need a little bit because it's really, it's, it's like thick oil. You put it on, leave it say five or 10 minutes and then just wash your hair as normal. And it, you sort of have to wash it quite hard to get the, the oil out. But it's supposed to be really good for your hair and, and treat your hair. The other oil I have, Unfortunately, the it's kind of rubbed off the front. Is coconut oil now? Coconut oil has got a lot of good uses. You can use it for cooking. Um, you can put it on your skin because it's supposed to be a good moisturizer. One I bought off Amazon is kind of hard like this, and if you put it near the radiator, it sort of softens up. Then you can sort of put your hands into it like an oil and put it onto your hair. Um, people also eat it. I've heard recently that 
people who eat two tablespoons of coconut oil a day, someone they lost an inch off their waist. I was reading about um, on a web page. But yeah, this is organic extra virgin coconut oil. But yeah, I've not used it as much. I've used it a bit on my skin to see if it will sort of make the skin better. And it's, it seems fine, it's got a nice smell. Obviously coconutty. The other thing I'm still using is this Gents of London carbon clay for styling. I've never really been one for styling my hair that much, but this stuff's really good. It's about seven or eight pounds, and you just put it on your thing, on your hands, palm your hand, rub it together, just massage it through your hair, and style your hair how you want. And it's really good. It's, it smells nice, and I'll, I'm going to be getting some more of that when I get a chance. But yeah, the crown is the longest, the, the area that takes the longest to grow and mine seems to be going alright. You might find that if you need, I mean I had 3,300 grafts done. If you need say 6,000 then yeah you would need two operations definitely. So just bear in mind that when you go out there you'll, you, I'd, I'd, not, I'd read up a lot but I'd not read so much about things like a lot of guys do need two ops because they, they don't really tell you that, they probably don't really want to advertise it but yeah just bear that in mind because I mean this mine seems to be going pretty well now and I'm at five and a half months maybe some guys don't and maybe I'll be lucky and I won't need to have a second op but a lot of guys do need a second op for the crown area I don't know why it takes longer to grow, I've heard different things on the internet, people say it's because the blood doesn't get up to that part of your head quite as easily, but yeah, it is the area that takes the longest. Also sort of down the centre, right at the centre. The area that grows the quickest for me of the transplanted area is the front definitely. And I get a lot of people asking about the front, and that's what it looks like. I'm quite happy with my front, the way they've done it, the new hairline. People say you weren't that bald anyway if they see the before pictures. Yep, I, I, I admit that. I was receding down there a bit, so it went back there and it was the bald spot on the back and it was kind of more like a heart because it kind of came forward a bit like that, uh, like an upside down sort of heart. But yeah, I still wanted it done because basically the bald spot at the back, I was using fibres, so they were getting a bit annoying and I had to keep you know washing my pillow because they, they get on your pillow and stuff like that but yeah I wasn't even going to have the front done like I said before but they said you know you could do a bit so I, I trusted them really glad I did now because I really like the hairline at the front it makes me feel a bit younger actually but yeah the crown is growing so don't give up hope my crown's only just started growing the last month or two sort of before that it was really just not doing anything much but I could feel little spiky hairs there and they do seem to be sort of sprouting now so let's just hope they keep growing. Um, that's about it for now. I've got an Amazon page now. They gave me a page because I keep listing things that I've bought underneath my videos. I thought it'd be easier to have a page where it's basically stuff that I've bought off Amazon so it's easier if you want to buy it yourself you to click on my page rather than listing loads of items I'm now just going to list my page and then you click on it and then I'm going to put hair transplant section so you can go to that if you want to buy the same sort of stuff as I've bought you can go onto that and just click on it and buy it straight like you would with Amazon normally that's about it for now I'm five and a half months like I said try and do another video when I get to six months